Hi my lazy chicks. This is my very first YouTube video and I'm so excited to bring you some Cricut 101 basics. So today in this video we're going to talk about splice, flatten, and weld. Okay, some of the basic things you'll use in your Cricut. So to get started with this, I want you to open up your design space on your phones and go down to the bottom where we're gonna have text and shapes, all right? So text is the second option and shapes is the third. So the, under text, I want you to go to your name. I'm sorry, <laughs> pick a font that you like. I'm gonna pick area round on bold and I'm gonna type in my name, all right? And I'm gonna teach you what splice is and what I use splice for, all right? So when I make t-shirts, if I have if I want to make the design pop or just break up a bunch of font that looks exactly the same, a lot of times I'll splice out a square. So this will give you the effect of a square and then the color is the color of the t-shirt. So let's look at shapes and we're going to pick a box, a square. So shapes is the third option at the bottom of your phone. And then we're going to spread this around, all right? So with Splice, what you need to know is you can only do two layers at a time. So you see how we have uh, one layer is the Melissa and the second layer is gonna be the box, okay? So we're gonna highlight, and all, the way you highlight is you tap your screen and you drag the box over, okay? And we're gonna click Actions and we're gonna splice it out. All right, so one thing I should have warned you of is that you always want to do to duplicate it first just in case you don't like the results so i didn't like that so i'm going to do another box all right see it's multiple because it just spliced and i'm going to make this melissa bigger all right and then i'm going to make a small box all right it's a little too big so I'll make the box a little bigger there we go and I'm gonna bring the Melissa to the top in front. So let's move this back so we can see it. All right, so I want it to be a little smaller. It's whatever your preference is. But for me, I would like for it to be a little smaller. So just, there we go. And I'm gonna bring this in. All right, now, it doesn't look centered, there we go. And now I'm going to highlight, tap the screen, and pull the box around. And remember, it can only be two layers. So you have the Melissa, and then you have the box. That's two layers. And don't forget to duplicate it, just in case you don't like it. But you highlight it, Actions, and you're going to click Splice. And now let's see what it looks like. So with this option, I can go ahead and delete that. With this option, when I print it out on my vinyl cutter, you click it it will basically open up the inside of the box and you can put, you can weed it out and then whatever color of your shirt that you're going to put the vinyl on, it'll be exposed so it's like you have two colors in one shirt so that's pretty cool so that's one way you can use splice another way that you can use splice is you can use it to shape up of image so remember like i said i always duplicate it i mean i guess it's not a big deal you can always just re-upload it but i just you know let's work i want it as easy as possible so you can always you're gonna bring another square so i there's a design that i did and uh, my sister only wanted half of the head okay so this is how you can splice it so you see what I did? I put the box on half of her head. And if you want to move your box around, I didn't mention that. You see there at the bottom of the box, there's a blue circle with a lock in it. If it's locked, that means you're not going to be able to, you, you're not going to be able to move it exactly how you want to. It's going to stay within proportion, I should say. But if see, you can't bring it in, it's going to stay within proportion. But if you open the lock up, I can bring it in, out. You can do up and down with a lock. But you have more access to it. You have more abilities with it. So now, I'm just gonna highlight it and go over the two images, because remember, it has to be two images. 
and I just want half of her head so I'm gonna splice and now I can take half of her head off sounds weird right all right let's delete that and now we have a half a half a head and so I use it as a splice so that's a pretty cool feature you can have so next let's talk about how to flatten the image now the reason you want to flatten the image is so that you can print and cut it if you don't flatten it all on one image it's gonna all print out separately but you want if you wanted to like make a flyer and print it out you're gonna need to print and cut and you are need all of what you type on your flyer to stay so let's go to our shapes again um, Let's, I mean, for the fun of it, let's use a different shape. Okay, so we're gonna use this star. And notice it's not locked, because if it's locked, this is all we can do. It's gonna stay within proportion, which is a good thing if you're like, if you're doing someone's logo. But if you wanna be able to bring it in smaller or larger, you need to unlock it. Bottom left corner, my left looking at the screen, I guess it's your, yeah, your left too. Um, it, the little lock, you wanna unlock it. All right. So let's bring in our Black Queen again, which I got from Melanin Images. It's cutie. All right, it's an SUV that I paid for. All right, so we're gonna make this small. And we're gonna put this in the middle of the star because we're gonna do a print to cut, okay? And let's make the star, we're gonna press edit and let's change the color of the star. And we're gonna just make it blue. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so I wanna cut this just for fun. Let's put the word sassy on here. All right, let's put my name, Melissa. Let's put that working with my name. I'm a black queen, right? So let's put Melissa on here. All right. Now that's cute. Now I want all this to print out together. So if I want all this to print out together, again, I'm gonna tap my screen, I'm gonna highlight it all, go to actions and flatten. All right, the great thing about flatten, you can unflatten. And so then when I go to make this, how big is it? Let's see. When I go to make this, it's probably too big right now to make. Let's line it up. There we go. Now, way small look now when I go to make this it will print as one image is this it? oh it's down to 50 32 let's make it smaller so my mat that I have is a 12 by 12 so that's what I have to get it to so so I'm going to make it smaller. There we go. And press make it. See, print it. Anytime you see this box around, that means you need a printer. It's going to print out, and then you can put it in your Cricut, and it'll cut it out for you. Okay? So you could print this on a sticker. You could print this out and, and put it on a shirt. I think it's cute just different options so that's what we use the flatten for okay so last thing we have is weld it's a couple of things you need to know about weld first once you weld something is permanent you can't unweld so i always suggest that you duplicate whatever it is that you're about to weld just in case you don't like the results of it um so let's start there okay so what i do also is i'll i'll save it unweld it and I'll weld it and then I can just go back to the, uh, you know, the save version, which is now welded to do it. And so like if you want to, if you're doing like something customized, you have multiple names, you, you don't want to weld it together unless you're going to make duplicate copies because then it's not going to unweld. So reasons I would weld and everybody's different, but... If we were to type up a word and I needed to ungroup because I didn't like the spacing, uh, like example, I did a savage shirt and I used this 
let's say don't use that font because I got it from dfont.com because it took about an hour to cut out but let's say we use this font and it's here is not that far out I use the word savage uh, and it's not looking that far oh there we go so I use savage and you see how far it is so maybe I would ungroup it so let's highlight it go to actions ungroup and then move them closer together and then group them back together now watch what happens let's see how big this is let's make it smaller so it'll cut all right so let's make it you see how all the letters are spread out they're not in order now you still can cut that out and just rearrange but who has time to do all that right if you weld them together and then you make them it's in order even though you ungrouped it so that's what i use it for or if you want to keep your picture like let's upload our queen again our black queen okay if we if we wanted to type savage below black queen let's make it So let's make this smaller. And don't worry, even though I know it's hard to see it. Let's go to edit, change the color so you can see it. Let's just make it red. So let's say I wanted it just like that. I didn't want it to move. You can either attach it. Or you can weld it together and remember you always want to duplicate first just in case you don't you change your mind and you don't want to cut it together so then I can highlight and I can weld it together <laughs> all right and then you can see the difference in when you make it so when you make it here and it's not welded it's too big so let me make it smaller if you make it here, there's my child again yelling. I thought I asked her to be quiet. But if you make it here, still too big. Okay, let's see. I make it. Oh, it's probably this one. <laughs> Even though I'm talking about that. One. Okay, you can see the difference in how they'll pull up when you press make it. So see, the savage is here instead of below the other one, but this one, they're gonna be stuck, locked in together. So like, that's the benefits of weld. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. So we went over splice, flatten, and weld. If you have any other questions or if anything wasn't clear in the video, please comment below and let me know what you would like for me to work on because I make these videos for you guys. And so, if you know any other ways to use um, weld, splice, and flatten, um, like I said, flatten is for print to cut, just let me know. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.